Welcome to Rob's Rules. I'm here. You're there. Great to see you. Today, this might be old to some people, but I just started this around this time in July of 2020. I was always wondering where people were saying a certain catchphrase. Now I understand. And after I read this to you, if you don't understand, you will. This is pretty shocking to me. I got a good laugh out of this. So I'm going to read this article to you. And I, I will discuss it after I show it to you. Here we go. It said here, Johnny Depp, Johnny, Johnny Depp wanted to slice off Elon Musk's penis over a legend pair of heard text messages for real. Wow. But I, I get, listen, I get it. Let's, let's read it and we'll go over it. Uh, at the time, this was coming from July 10th of last year, I just, uh, 2020, I just started covering it this time, so forgive me for missing this. I must have missed this. Johnny uh, reportedly ranted against Musk in a text message sent to Lady Gaga's fiancé, Christian Carino. So why is this important? Why am I covering this now? Because there was an order in Virginia that came out that had to do with Christian Carino. I was like, I never heard of this guy before. Who is he? Lady Gaga's ex fiance and I ex fiance and I believe he's an agent to celebrities. So let's read what Johnny's text was to him. <laughs> wow. Sorry I'm laughing, but this is funny. But Johnny Depp wanted to cut off Elon Musk's penis because he believed that Elon Musk and Amber Heard had an affair. Musk has denied it. Musk has insisted that the affair started only after Heard filed for divorce, but we know otherwise if you see my other videos. It won the messages sent to Christian Carino, Lady Gaga's ex fiance. Depp wrote, I'll show him things he's never seen before, like the other side of his dick when I slice it off. <laughs> she's begging for total global humiliation. She's gonna get it. She sucked Molsky's crooked dick when he gave her some shit lawyers. I have no mercy. Not an ounce of emotion or, or uh, I, one ounce should be one ounce. Or one ounce thought was love for this gold digging, low level, dime a dozen, mushy, pointless, dangling, overused, flappy fish market. <laughs> and now I understand why you guys say flappy fish market. Because Johnny said it and I didn't know it. That's funny. The text continues with Johnny's rant about Amber Heard saying, a 50 cent stripper. I'm so fucking happy. She wants to go fight this out. She, she will hit the wall hard. And I cannot wait to have this waste of a cunt guzzler out of my life. I meant a fucking sublime little Russian here, which made me realize the time I blew on that 50 cent stripper. But now I will stop at nothing. Let's see if Molsky has a pair. Come see me face to face. And in order to understand that order, you had to understand what Johnny wrote as a text message to Lady Gaga's ex-fiance, Christian Carino. Now that I know who Christian Carino is, and now that I understand why that order is saying things, it did. But we'll go over that order in the next video. And in order to see that, make sure you click the notification bell so you know when it's going to drop and you'll be able to follow along with this case with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And anything you've missed, there's a whole Johnny Depp playlist. Just go to the playlist section and click on whatever video you've missed. Also, I'll put it in the comment section below, which sometimes I forget to do, so forgive me. Johnny obviously here was ranting. He was very angry because he found out what we know. That Elon Musk and slept with his wife one month into the relationship which was revealed by the concierge or security or whatever you want to call them who worked there saying that the only way in and out of the penthouse was one elevator and you needed permission from Miss Heard. Musk used to come late at night between 11 and 12 when Johnny Depp was not there. Why would this guy lie? He also gave Elon Musk a key fob which was requested by Miss Heard. He didn't need permission anymore. He could just come and go as he pleases. Now why he came late at night considering Johnny wasn't home, maybe he was working on his company, I don't know. That's all I can think of. 
But he came when Johnny wasn't around. And what is stupid on Amber's part is if you know that there are people and security cameras and stuff like that, and you know you're going to eventually move on, that Johnny wasn't for you, why not go to Elon Musk's place and just tell Johnny you're going with the girls and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. No one would be the wiser. I mean, she can hang with her girlfriends and have her girlfriends come pick her up. She doesn't have to have any security, this, that, or whatever, and just go. But she got a little too cocky, and she didn't realize how many people knew what was going on and that it was wrong. And I guess they just kept it in mind and never forgot it. And she didn't think anything of it because she thought that no one would believe Johnny because how frail, and she's a woman, and she's not big, and he's big, and he's bad, so he's going to bully people and pay people off. And he does drugs, and he does alcohol, so he's a monster. This is Amber's defense. This is what she uses. But this video is important to understand my next one coming up. So with that being said, you might have known this, you might not have known it about the floppy fish market, which is really funny. I was wondering where this came from. Now I totally get it. But you let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I've got more dropping. There's more stuff coming from Virginia. So make sure you're here. Don't miss a thing. Keep in the know. That's why you want to stick with my channel. I'll see you soon. Be well, be safe out there. Thanks for your support. I love you all. Take care tonight.